Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF1534 here. It is with my greatest pleasure that I welcome you back for another episode of Let's Play Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. And this video is going to take on such a different shape than what we've been doing for the last nine episodes. Uh, because the export mission is done! Gone in 20-ish minutes hath now been gone. And it definitely took a lot longer than 20-ish minutes. It took 20-ish minutes times times 7, and then 30-ish minutes times 2. So it took a lot of time, we'll put it that way. But you know what? We're going back to doing regular missions now. This is this is good times for everybody. No longer do I have to do, do videos that are extremely long. But before we do that, we get to do we get to do one simple thing. And uh, I you know, I think that Carl really deserved it. I mean over the course of, of those of those nine episodes of just intense car collecting madness, Carl lost a lot of weight, man. I mean, he's he lost a couple of notches of fat. Now he's down to the very bare minimum. And since uh, you know we're strutting around with about 1.4 million dollars in our pocket, I think that Carl has has earned himself a number of pizzas. And uh, to be exact, actually, I think he has earned himself nine of these. So we're gonna get him. We're gonna get him nine full racks. We're gonna spend ninety dollars at this uh, at this wonderful, well stacked pizza company. Oh yeah, we're having such a cheesy day. You don't even know. Like we're gonna build lactose intolerance via how cheesy this day is going to be. I don't even know where I'm at right now. Uh, we're gonna do one more right after this. All right, we're good. <laughs> that may have been eight. One for insurance. Do it! Go throw up! Oh yeah! Yeah! Alright! Carl ate till he puked! That's what I'm talking about, man! That's what you gotta do! I mean, if you're not if you're not eating till you puke after all the stuff that he went through in the course of that little expedition, then, you know, you haven't been working hard enough. So, okay, so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go head back down to the gas station, because there is a mission with uh, with Mr. Cesar over there, and we're gonna we're gonna check it out. It's just something new for a change, and I, I, I love it. It's great. So I've got a couple stories for you tonight, although the second one I won't tell you until I film uh, my, my other video. It's a pretty good one. But the one I do have to tell you tonight, it's, it's, a, it's a fun one. It was, it was something. Okay, so we need to hang a left right here. Oh, dude, it's... I definitely... I almost got in a car accident today, actually. I Well, I didn't... Okay, to be to be technical here, I I myself didn't almost get in one, but the way that it was shaping up, it was very possible that both myself, the guy that I'll be explaining to you, and about possibly up to like eight other cars that could have been potentially involved, it would have been bad, man. Ugh. Boy, these guys look like they're really working hard. It's either that or they just I don't know, they like passed the hell out. Ugh, who knows? Hey man, where you been? I tricked one of the cars on a shopping list. But the crazy bitch, she dressed like the devil. I've been following her for hours, but she stopped for nothing. You have to ram <laughs> Even when she's out of gas, she's still able to drive power. somehow. It's, it's just so all off of her rage. I swear she's playing with me. Dude, calm down. If she <laughs> Let me do it. I'm obviously a better driver than you. Until it turn up. We gotta find a way to stop her or slow her down. Too bad we can't involve the police. <laughs> hey, did somebody kick a, fr a refrigerator door open? I thought I heard a fridge open. I'm gonna come get something. <laughs> he looks so mad right now. It's great. I love it. Alright, get in the car. This car has been modded to use stingers. What, if we take a bunch of stingers off of, like, like stingrays and jellyfish, or what? Or do we just, like, go and kill a bunch of bees and re remove their stingers, or what? Burst the tires. We only have three of them. Okay, how the hell do we use them? They should probably tell me that. Press Joy 1. I don't know what button that is, but I'm going to assume that maybe it is Circle. Or B. Since I'm using a, uh... A 360 controller here. This car is tight, by the way. I'm, I'm digging this vehicle right now. Okay, so basically, basically the premise of this whole thing. So I had to drive up to my Woodburn store today to go get their money because the people that were working up there, uh, my mom actually had to stay till close, so she couldn't leave to bring it down. 
And so since I wasn't working today, I had the pleasure of going up there to get it. So I go and grab their money, and I'm on the way back. And uh, there's there's a lot of traffic in that in that area, and so it's a two lane road because I took I took the back roads to get uh, to get back. Oh, here we go! I'm coming for you! I'm coming for you and your little Volkswagen Passat wagon. Oh, did I miss? I had to have I had to have missed. Oh, come on! I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna get you! Get in the oh! I got it! <laughs> yeah! I did not expect that to go that easily. Uh oh, this can't be good. Oh no, there's a cop coming and he's swerving hey, like the DJ, devil. How's it going with that crazy bitch, eh? <laughs> I was able to get her in like ten seconds, Caesar. Okay, careful with that pouch with bear shit. What is this cop doing? <laughs> what? Is... Hey man, I got an idea. Let's go drink like a gal to moonshine and let's go do some do some cookies in the turf by the bridge. Alright, right. well, I mean, I guess... Oh, and I he even popped one of his tires in that. That's funny. So, so we're, uh, so I'm coming back, and, uh, I mean, I'm t I took the back road, so it's just, like, it's basically this same road right here. It's just one lane one way and one lane the other. And, uh, you know, there's, there's, like, a whole bunch of cars in front of me, and there's a semi directly in front of me, and there's a few cars behind me, and there's a whole bunch of traffic coming the other way. And, you know, traffic's going, like, you know, and, like, we're all driving on average, like, 60 miles an hour or whatever. And, uh, I notice that there's this guy behind me, and he's driving, like, super erratically, and I, I have no idea why. And, like, I, I keep looking in my, in my rearview mirror, and I look back at him, and he, I can't really, like, see his, oh boy, I can't really see, like, his facial expressions or anything, but he just, I don't know, he looks like he's just, like, really, like, really, he's just being really impatient, and he's, like, he keeps looking, he keeps kind of like, you know, doing that little move where you kind of swerve your car like up towards the middle line just so you can, you know, see if, if you can pass people. And he's sitting here doing fishtails like this, just doing this constantly in the lane. But he's like doing a really wide one, so he's like going all the way from like one side of the lane to the other. And he just keeps doing it. He's just sitting here going like this, and, and then he's like, you know, driving up on the side like this, trying to get a good look. And then he like, then he slows down, and then he like, slams on the gas again and gets right behind me and so I'm sitting here like like is this dude drunk right now? Like, I can't really tell what's going on with him. And uh let's see let's see what happens here and then we'll we'll get down to the rest of the story. I think that may have been the last mission in this little set of stuff here. This may have been our last San Fierro mission, by the way. Yeah I love when they put that little <laughs> right in there with that little Thing. Yeah, more money for me, you know. I'll take it. <laughs> oh, they did it again. And I missed it. Um. Okay, let's go. Let's go grab one of my one of my many cars that I have up here at at, at Wankers. Um, which is actually the name of a bar that's um in in a uh, town not too long, not too far away from here. It's actually called Wankers, and it's uh, it's it's actually quite it's quite the spot actually from what I've heard. I've actually never been there before. But I've heard things. I've heard that it is uh, that it is it is definitely a place where people go to do things. So we're gonna we're gonna go jump in here and we'll we'll head over to do some stuff at the old question mark, since that's our new destination. So uh, yeah, so all of a sudden uh, you know we're we're still we're still going. He's behind me. We've been doing this whole. I've been kind of checking on him for the last like ten minutes, and uh, he's just being as fucking weird and hard to read as ever. And so, next thing you know, um, he decides that he's just, he gets in one of those, uh, like, there, you look at the little lines on the, on the, in the medium area, and it, like, actually permitted him to pass. And so this dude, he decides to kick it into high gear, and he goes flying past me and the semi, and so I'm kind of watching him as he does it, and, uh, then he just goes flying back, you know, into, into this other lane here, and I'm not even kidding, not even, like, one full second goes by, and just a fucking school bus goes right by. And I'm sitting here thinking, oh my god, he almost went like head first into a school bus? Like what the hell is wrong with this guy? Like, if he would have hit that school bus head on or even clipped it, like, he's gonna hit that school bus full of kids. He's gonna end up, you know, hitting the car that's in front of the semi from like, you know, careening off of it. 
the semi is going to end up getting hit. I'm going to hit the semi because I was probably driving a little bit too close to that semi. I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? I'm totally going the wrong way. I needed to not go this far. Crap, I need to turn around. All right, well, at least we can totally do that. We can absolutely turn around on this thing. Um, yeah, dude, so... Um, and so he would have hit that semi. The semi would have hit me. And then, like, the four people that were driving abnormally close behind me would have ended up hitting me. And all the people behind the school bus would have hit that damn school bus. We would have had, like, potentially, like, a 10 or 12 car pileup going on out there. It would have been all sorts of bad. And so I'm sitting here like, wait a minute. So this guy almost killed a whole shitload of people just so he could get two cars in front of me? Are you fucking kidding? And, uh... And so, you know, we just, I just keep on following. I end up getting directly behind this guy at one point, and we end up ro uh, rolling into town, and this dude goes and pulls into the bar, and he like, he's, like, swerving when he goes and gets in there, and he, I can see him, like, on my way out. He, like, gets out of the car door, and he's just, like, kind of just floating around, like, whatever, man, I'm totally here. And it was, oh, it pissed me off. Shut up and sit down. Well, you think I'm a drug dealer? And you think you're a crusader for good? I can you steal your identity. I did it to Peter Griffin. Going on? Any idea whatsoever? Do you? Do you? Nah. I pay as little attention to things as possible. Do not be a fucking smart ass with me. I work for a government agency. It is not important which one. I will try not to confuse you. Yes, when we last met, I was involved in battling threats in Latin America by any means necessary. Yeah, this is getting that serious right now. Drug dealer. Now, the money that we raised, the friends that we won over, have helped us immeasurably in our overseas interests. Government agency? Kids like you. You expect heroes. Hey, we got a shooting star out there. Or it's a UFO. We're Who knows? We're fighting a war out there. I'll be a hero and I'll lose. And what do we have? Communism in Ohio. People sharing. Nobody buying stuff. That kind of bullshit. <laughs> So relax and listen. All right, all right. I'm listening. I know what kind of guy you are. I need a guy like you to do things I can't get caught doing. Like what? I need you to commandeer a truck. A rival agency with a confused social agenda. They got things that we need. Now, this is a two-man job. You'll need a friend. And it can't be me. I can't stress that enough. He's your sister's boyfriend, but don't tell him a thing. Remember, I'll be watching you. Because I work for a government agency, but I won't tell you which one. But I totally do. Alright. I mean, he could have simply just told us to go get a truck and bring a friend. And you wouldn't have had to have gone through any of the rest of that stuff. Yeah, you sure did. How you know I needed help? Man, you losing it, Holmes. You phoned me a half hour ago. I did? I mean, oh yeah, I did. Sorry, man, I got a whole lot on my mind. <laughs> but I can't tell you about any of it, really. Okay, so we need to get on the bike. Sounds good. We need to jack a truck on the freeway. Oh, dude, really? We're gonna be doing some crazy... We're gonna be doing some crazy-ass fucking, like, Fast and the Furious stuff right now? Oh, boy. Oh, boy, this is gonna be... This is gonna be something, isn't it? So wait, where's this guy coming from? Does it say anything about where he is right now? Uh, let's let's zoom out a little bit. Can we get any sort of info about where this? Oh, it's coming this way. Oh, okay. I totally see what's going on now. So it's actually gonna be right here. I know. I already ha I've already been here before. You're not telling me something new. Okay. So how is this gonna happen right now? Yeah, because I didn't really, I didn't really have that idea figured out yet. Oh, I'll tell, I'll tell her, all right. I'll, I'll tell her something. I don't know if I could really tell her with a, with a straight face. Hey, so your boyfriend died because I had him try to jump onto a, tr a moving truck on the freeway and he missed. <laughs> that wouldn't be a very good idea. All right, here we go. Pull to the left side of the truck and hold the bike in position. I am. I know what I'm doing. Oh my gosh! Man, dude, this guy is this guy is really doing it. There you go. Atta boy, son. Woo! Okay. I see what you're up to. 
Come on, man. I know you. I know you got it. We were just stealing a zoomer truck. Is that seriously it? All right, here we go. Let's go. So wait, where's the guy that was in there? He's just gone now, all of a sudden. <laughs> what did he like use like a phaser gun and send him into a different dimension or something? Oh no, there he is. <laughs> I was like, hold on a second. I was gonna say like, oh, did, so I'm in here and I'm going to send your soul to the afterlife. And by the afterlife, I mean I'm sending you to Zen. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna go to Black Mesa, or a place that's accessible in Black Mesa. You never know. I love that the back of the truck is kind of. It was for a second there. It was actually bouncing around to the rhythm of this. That was funny. Oh yeah, dude. This this truck's got some mad power in it. We would have not had the same ease of being able to do that as we as we were just a minute ago. It's actually a really smooth ride. I never anticipated a semi to, or you know like a like a tanker truck to be able to move that well. It was actually really easy to uh, control. That was that was awesome. All right. So hey, we actually got money for that thing. It wasn't just like a oh man, you earned some more respect, dog. Man, our weapon skill is pretty ballsy right now, and our muscle's pretty good too. I mean, I guess we you know we'd probably be we'd probably be building up some good muscle after all the stuff we've been doing. Hey, CJ, you wanna go get the blah 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 blah? Oh, never mind. Asshole. So what are we supposed to go back over to him now? Oh, so it actually has a thing there now. So it's wasn't it? What was, what was his name? Uh, Torino? Know what his name was? Yeah, Grand Torino. Dun, 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 dun. That's, that movie came out later <laughs> than this game did. Okay, so we are good for right now, my friends. But when we come back on the next installment of Let's Play Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, a we're gonna go back to Torino and see what he wants. And B, I got another story for you, and this one is probably a little bit crazier than what I told you, but that was pretty fucked up, right? Like, you can't just be driving like that with a school bus driving at you. <laughs> it's insane. But yeah, dude, this other one's pretty good, too. So I will see you guys in just a little while, so take care, and uh, see you next time, guys. Bye. I can't tell you which one, though. Government agency! <laughs>